welcome to the first day of vlogmas seriously building work now uh... so before i even start this video i just want to say I know this is random, I know this is stupidly placed. I did have it this side, but I didn't like it for the thumbnail. It's even placed on top of an upside down bedroom bin. Got Mickey Mouse, got a bit of tinsel. If that doesn't get your Christmas vibe going, then at least we don't have a boring white background for you. So welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing stocking fillers for a two year old. Lila Rose is nearly two, so I'm gonna class it as a two year old. So I'm gonna share with you what I got for her, for her stocking. And then at the end, I'm gonna leave you a little extra list of ideas for stocking fillers for a two year old, just to help you guys out. So I hope this video does help you guys out. And if it does, then please give it a like. I'd absolutely love that and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And let's just get Okay, so starting off is something that I found in Poundland and I completely recommend just going to Poundland having a little walk around and seeing what you can find because a couple of these bits are from Poundland and obviously it's cheap and cheerful. So this one was a pound. I haven't actually seen one of these anywhere so I was really impressed with this one. It is a hand moisturizing no hang on moisturizing hand sanitizer now obviously with everything going on in the world at the moment we are constantly sanitizing our hands and i've yet to find a hand sanitizer that's appropriate for toddlers so unless i'm just not looking in the right places and you guys can tell me where else i can find it i was quite impressed to see that you could do like a little moisturizer so instead of it just being hand sanitizer that dries out your hands you can moisturize your children's hands through winter and also sanitize them as well i think that's a really really good idea it's a cute little stock filler even though they don't know what it is it's got pepper pig on it and i just love the idea that it's a moisturizer for the dry weather through winter right another thing that i picked up from poundland now this one wasn't actually a pound this one was two pounds i don't like the fact that they're changing their prices when it's poundland anyway i picked up this one for two pound which i thought was really really sweet they had a few different characters they had like an elephant i think maybe a zebra lila rose just loves giraffes so i got this one instead it says three plus but to be honest this is good for newborn kids just love puppets so yeah really love that one okay this is quite an obvious one but board books and books in general are a great stocking filler for children and for two-year-olds i've actually picked up this one from the works which i thought was really lovely they actually do a um like an offer which is 10 for 10 pounds so you can mix and match loads of different books i just picked up the one for two pound she has loads of different board books which is the go-to for like a two-year-old stocking but because she's got loads of them i decided to go for something that was paid Paper. and because it's so cheap I'm not so worried about her ripping the pages but I thought this was quite a simple book for her it's lovely beautiful colors and on top of that it's a good size to fit in a stocking as well I've already tried it so yeah board books and books in general okay so for the next thing we were trying to choose what was better between slippers and fluffy socks for her stocking and then me and Rick both came to the conclusion that there is just no chance that she's going to keep slippers on through the house so we picked up a pack of fluffy socks it was actually really hard to try and find fluffy socks for toddlers so for like infant size feet i found these ones in george asda they came in a pack of two for two pound which i thought was really well priced considering they're such good quality like pinky neutral colors and they've got little suckers on the bottom which is even better so she won't be sliding around the floor in the kitchen so for two pound off that was really lovely i think fluffy socks for both boys and girls is a brilliant stocking filler but if you do think that your child's going to keep on slippers then I highly recommend some slippers as well okay so next up is something that i just randomly picked up in b&m without any thought like you do but i think this is actually going to be quite a hit with lila rose especially in the bath because they are rubbery so for two pound fifty i picked up some finger puppets like i said they're probably not meant for the bath but because they're rubbery i think we can get away with it there was not really any thought behind it there was no reason behind it i'm not sure if i'm going to leave them in the packaging or i might just take them off and just put them individually into the stocking without wrapping them i'm not really sure but i really do think she'll like these in the bath now of course you've got to have chocolate treats and i really don't want any judgment because there's a lot of chocolate going into her stocking i don't know why i've just accumulated it as we've gone along so chocolate so first things first i can't remember where i picked this up i think it was home bargains for like a 79p or something like that or 69p but it's just a little chocolate reindeer which i thought was really cute and festive and then you've obviously got to have a tube of chocolate or sweets now i'm thinking about it i probably should have got sweets but lila rose is more of a chocolate fan like me she doesn't really do sweets so yeah i don't know whether to change it and just try her on sweets chocolate's better for your teeth to be fair 
I know that, I was a dental nurse. And then of course, the amazing chocolate coins. Most people go for gold. We don't do that in this house. If we're girls, we have pink, 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 pink. These have got little unicorns all over them. I think these ones are from Poundland as well. I'm trying to show you the unicorns, but you can't see them. There you go. There's a unicorn. They're really cute. I love those. And there's quite a lot in them. They're quite weighty for a pound. Now, another thing for a girl stocking is hair accessories. So I picked up more than what I probably should have. These ones I think I picked up from, I think, Poundland, actually. So there's some little hair bands. I've mainly got these for the hair bands because her hair's getting long enough at the back now to uh, put hair bands in. But obviously, when she's older, she can use the clips as well. And then I also got this one, or Rick picked this one up, actually, from Aldi. And I just love these neutral colours she wears these colors most of the time so yeah they're gonna go with every outfit something else that is really random but we picked it up in poundland is this one right here so it's a little fidget toy they had loads of different ones for a pound i just picked up the little pink teddy bear it does say free plus but this is one of those things with supervision she's gonna be absolutely fine we've got a bigger one that we have for ourselves like me and rick and she absolutely loved it so this will definitely keep her entertained it's got a little hook as well so you could probably attach it to your bag or to the pram or something so that you've kind of got it with you out and about but yeah just a little stock and filler something little and random now the last couple of things before i give you a little extra list to help you guys out this one i picked up again from the works and this was two pound i just picked it up randomly it's a really bouncy ball and it's got a unicorn on it they had lots of different ones they had boy versions of these as well but yeah a very bouncy oh and it lights up now that explains why it's two pound and not a pound now I totally get it now. I don't think you can ever go wrong with some sort of bouncy ball or squishy ball. But Lila Rose doesn't actually have many small bouncy balls, so I'm excited to play with this one with her. And the last couple of bits is something really boring, but something really necessary, and that is a new toothbrush and new toothpaste. So we've just got this little toothbrush. This is the standard one that she's had for a very long time. When she hits two, she's gonna have like a longer one, but at the moment, I keep her on this one because she's very good for choking herself when she has a longer toothbrush. And then just your standard toothpaste as well. So those are the little bits that I'm putting in Lila Rose's stocking. I'm now gonna go on to give you my little list of just extra bits. Some of these I might still buy for Lila Rose, but this is kind of just to help you guys out with any extra ideas. So number one is something that I was actually trying to find in Poundland, and that is bath crayons. I'm pretty certain you can get them in Poundland. You can get them in boots. You can get them in all sorts of places, but obviously the cheapest I've seen them is Poundland. But it's cheap and it's cheerful, and your two-year-old would absolutely love to just draw all over the bath and obviously it's better than drawing all over the walls with actual pen. Number two on my list is something that you've probably thought about already but that is little play-doh pots. You can get the actual play-doh brand like this which is for two plus or a lot of places that have a toy section like B&M or the range they have their own little play-doh pots that could be possibly cheaper. Number three is another one that I would put in Lila Rosa stocking but we've already got loads of them in the cupboard and that is bubbles. So if your child doesn't have bubbles already then two-year-olds absolutely love them. They're a brilliant stocking filler because they're diddy and it's something that you could just get out in the morning of Christmas and start blowing around bubbles and entertaining your two-year-olds. So yeah bubbles are a brilliant idea. Number four is bath toys. So little bath ducks, rubber ducks you can get them in Poundland as well or just bath books, bath toys in general. You can get some smaller ones. Number five is something that I was going to do but when I started bulking out Lila Rose's stocking I realised this probably wouldn't fit. Getting your child little figures of their favourite characters. So for Lila Rose it is Dougie. My original plan was to take these out of the packaging and put them in her stocking individually just to bulk it out and I knew she would absolutely love that. They now won't fit in the stocking so she is just going to get it just like this but I thought that was a really lovely idea because stockings don't usually have toys in. It's normally little random bits that's kind of useful. A lot of the time there's not really toys in there so I thought this was a nice little addition. Whatever character your child is into there's usually some figures of them so maybe buying the figures and putting those in the stocking individually. Number six is something that I've seen in a lot of stocking filler videos for toddlers but not so much two-year-olds so I don't know how appropriate this is for your own child but stickers sticker packs maybe so obviously if your child is already into stickers then you can get really cute little sticker packs that is just something that children just love to open and see a load of stickers i don't know what the fascination is but they do so maybe get your child some stickers number seven is something that i'm gonna save to get lila rose for her birthday but it's a great stocking filler and that is some training pants so obviously at two years old your child is probably maybe possibly <laughs> near the age of learning how to potty train so it's something that you're probably already looking at buying already so why not 
not use it as a stocking filler and get some training pants for your toddler. And number eight is something really simple and that is a mini teddy. So you can get these pretty much anywhere. They're really, really cheap. You can get them in Poundland to be honest. We were actually going to get a really small mini mouse teddy because Lila Rose loves mini mouse and I was going to get one second hand for two pound until I saw something else which I will show you in her main present video. Majority of kids love teddies so if yours does then yeah maybe consider putting that as a stocking filler. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. And now I've done this, I can actually go and wrap these presents up, which I've been dying to. I literally love wrapping so much. So I'm gonna get on and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, then please hit that like button. I really appreciate knowing if it does help you guys out. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already and you'd like to, then please don't forget to hit it before you leave because it really helps to support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye.